Welcome back, this is Yama Jack, and today we've got Gunslinger Officer Suicidal. You might hear some dogs barking in the background, but that's just uh, my neighbours. I've got no control over it. Nothing I can do. I'm sorry. I don't know what this accent's from really, but I've asked uh, I've asked myself if I can do it, and I said, uh, yeah, no, I can. And uh, now I'm committed. It's really that simple. I don't think I've ever been out here, like ever, in all of my time playing Killing Floor. The, the first one. The second one, those are the only ones I've played. Um, I don't think I've ever been out here, this is my first time. I didn't even know this place existed. Uh, Offices is, uh, is a map, it's from the original Killing Floor. Uh, it's a brutal map. Uh, KF2, really, the, the like spawning algorithm and all that, it really doesn't play nicely with this map. I mean, a lot of that, that's true for a lot of the Killing Floor 1 maps, honestly. Um, they changed a lot about how like this, this, the, yeah, the spawning stuff works, and uh, for the most part, it's reasonably okay-ish, I guess. But uh, at the same time, it's like not okay. You know what I mean? Donka. It's super not okay. Because uh, stuff just gets spawned around corners and doors and random other garbage. It's no good. It's no good. And this is one map where uh, where that difference really. Um, plays a role in making the map substantially more difficult than it was previously. Not really, uh, not really a map I enjoy playing on, just because it is brutally difficult. Honestly, this is out of all the maps that I, I actually play on with any regularity. This is probably the hardest, and I don't play on it with any regularity. But um, I don't think it's the hardest Killing Floor map. Uh, it's just it's out of all the ones that I actually play. I think this is. Probably the the most difficult, like by a by a pretty large margin. Um, but I wasn't kidding when I said you might hear some dogs barking. There is uh, my neighbor's dog is is woofing. You know I'm I'm a I love dogs. I love I love dogs. Okay, like all dogs are good dogs. But sometimes I think that my neighbor's dogs are a little annoying, and I don't blame the dogs. I blame the owners, my neighbors. Who just can't take care of their dogs like come on <laughs> do your job you accepted this responsibility when you when you got a dog so you know do it stick with it you know so it's a little bit annoying it happens in the morning all the time too I, I don't know what's happening I feel like they just get like put outside and then just left there for a while and the dogs just bark because they're like I just want to be inside I've already done my pooping let me let me in and they're like, nah, I don't really wanna. That's what I feel like happens, and uh, really, it's just bad pet ownership. Um, there you are. And it's annoying, man. But I love all dogs. I just I uh, don't necessarily love all dog owners. You know what I mean? Some some dog owners and you know, these these aren't like I, I like my neighbors they're they're good neighbors they have they have you know a lot of stuff going on but you know don't get a bunch of dogs if you got a lot of stuff going on um, but uh, you know I uh, the, the dog owners anyway really hate are ones who like abuse their dogs you know, if you ever if I ever find you hitting your dog I'm uh, I'm gonna be real mad you got a shock collar on your dog I'm gonna be real mad. Dogs don't, uh, dogs don't deserve to be, uh, hurt, you know? Pain isn't a good training mechanism for, for any animal, but dogs especially, because I like them more than any other animal. I thought I shot you in the face. I've been playing that, uh, Fates, Fire Emblem Fates game. I'm on chapter like four at the moment. I'm redoing it. I was I was on chapter twenty three um, previously, nineteen hours into the save. Um, that was my previous one, but you know I haven't played it in a while. I'm like you know I'll just uh, go through it all, um, learn what what's all going on, all the mechanics and everything again, because um, there's like some fancy stuff going on in, in Fates, uh, and then um, please. Uh, and then, 
you know, get caught up on the story again, and you know, all this kind of stuff. Uh, to, to, to know what exactly... Bonka. To know exactly what, what I'm getting into. You know, whenever I, I, I do it all the time with games, I'll, I'll play through, like, you know, most of the game. I don't, I don't know how many chapters there are in Fire Emblem Fates, but 23, probably a little over halfway through the game, I guess. I'd, I'd imagine, just thinking about, like, what was happening at that point in the story. I have, a, I have a vague memory of, uh, of what was happening. My guess is there's like 32, 33 chapters, maybe. So, you know, a, a fair few, for sure. Dunka, dunka, dunka. So I was, I was getting pretty close to the end of the game. And it's nice to just go through and relearn what all the story is, you know? Because I like the story... Um, you know? So I, I do it all the time. I, I play through a game and, and then I come back to it afterwards. And I just, I just restart, you know? Just get it going again. Happens all the time. I just, uh, for me, I don't know why. I really like. Hello? I really like restarting in, uh, in games. Well, some games, not all games. Path of Exile is one where uh, I hate restarting. I don't really like playing in the leagues. And I guess any game where. It's more mechanics driven. It's not really so much about the story. Um, or if I've, you know, played through the story like a billion times already. Or especially if playing the game is equivalent to like replaying the whole story over and over again. I'm like, I just I don't really need to do that again. Um, you know? Um, or I might, but like that's just playing the game normally. It's not really going out of my way to redo it, you know? Um, like, for instance, Path of Exile, you make a new character, you have to play through the whole game all over again anyway, right? I've got dozens of characters, so... I've, I, don't, I don't really need to, to, like, make a new account or whatever, I just I, I use what I've got. Um, and, and playing through in leagues with, uh, with the fresh economy and all that, to me, is just less enjoyable. Although I don't really play it at all anymore. I don't really have the time for that. Um, well, well, we'll definitely stream it at some point again. Because, uh, you know, it is, like, the game I've invested the most time and money into, I think. Um, I've played other games more, but I think that, uh, that Path of Exile is a game... Like, you don't really AFK in Path of Exile. You know what I mean? Like, you don't really spend much time in-game and not actually being at your computer, you know, actually playing the game. Whereas, uh, you know, something like Minecraft, I'll have more hours. But a lot of that is just going to be me sitting in my base, AFKing while all the farms run. You know, same with RuneScape. You know, probably more hours, but um, how much of that is actually, like, me sitting down and actually playing the game? Probably less than Path of Exile. Um, so I got, like, 4,300 hours in Path of Exile or something like that. And uh, maybe, like... 300 or 400 of those are, are me AFKing and, and not actively playing. So, you know, just kind of, no way, no way. <laughs> uh, just kind of, you know, it's, it's a very active game. So I think that I've invested the most, like, active time into Path of Exile and definitely the most money. I, I, have, uh, I have a huge financial uh, investment in, in Path of Exile. Thousands of dollars. Um, and again, I've, I've played for 4,000 hours. It's like a, my, my time is less than a minute an hour. Or a, a dollar an hour Like I'm, I'm, is what I'm spending. Like less than a dollar an hour is what I'm spending on Path of Exile, which is, uh, in my opinion, valid. Right? I think that's, I think that's valid. Um... I don't think that's a, an addiction or a problem. I think that that's just... You like the game. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, a lot of people will go and spend 20 bucks on a game that, that only lasts, like, three hours. You know what I mean? That's that's worse than what, I, what I've spent on, on Path of Exile. That's, that's, that's worse, you know? That's, that's less financially... Like... I don't want to say responsible, because, like, Path of Exile is free. You don't have to pay any money. 
Um, but like, it's not. You know what I mean? Like, like twenty bucks for like four hours is you're you're getting less hours than twenty bucks for like you know twenty five hours. So I don't. So I don't really view it as a problem. But I have I have put a lot of money into it. And then people always get like they're like, why would you spend that much money on a game? Like I don't know. I've also played it for like four thousand some odd hours. Like, why wouldn't I? You know, like at that point, it's it's why why would you not spend money on the game? I've been thinking about buying a card set, a divination card set. They're like a thousand dollars or something like that. I was gonna do it a while back, and then. Um, when I was like talking to them, they weren't able to get back to me, uh, and then I kind of like fell out of Path of Exile after that, and then uh, then it didn't end up working out. Um, and now I don't play it, so I'm like, you know, I could go and buy a a custom divination card that gets put into the game, but at the same time, I don't play it right now. No real reason to. We might when we get back into it, but for right now. Just not really feeling it, you know? How do we get to that? How do we get there? It's a flash pound! But it's a fun game. It's a, it's probably one of my favorite games of all time. It just it, it takes a lot of time, you know? It's a game that I, I kind of have to force myself to not play because I know if I play it, I'm just going to invest far too much time into it. Like if I play Path of Exile, I'm going to play like 10 hours a day for like four months, minimum. Like I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm going to get really, really into it. I'm going to have a lot of fun playing the game, and I'm not going to want to do anything else. So it's like it's an irresponsible decision to um, to play it. I think right now, at at, at the point in my life that I'm at. Stop wasting my time. Show yourself. Can you show yourself, buddy? Like, come on. It's a little rude to, to want you me to show you myself, but you don't have to show yourself. Like, a little bit rude, wouldn't you say? Yo, that's pretty sick, though. That that's that's a pretty that. Okay, you know what? That's a that's a sick kill right there, okay? I wanna yeet all of my money off the edge so it just goes flying through the floor. Aw. Only only the fly, only the patriarch is able to, to make that happen, I guess. Okay. Okay, fine. I guess if you must. But it's, it's a little bit rude, you know? Show yourself, says the invisible man. Like, I mean, what a hypocrite, right? What a hypocrite. What the... This is not what water looks like. This, this is... This is not rain. That, that is, that is not... <laughs> uh... Okay, alright, alright. That's not what. No. Can't see anything, man. This is. It, come on. Could, could you have done, like, a little bit better, at least? You know, you don't, you don't have to animate the, the car texture to look like it's raining. Okay? You probably would have been better off just. Letting the the rain, you know, overlay thing, um, just kind of make everything look like it's being rained on, instead of animating the cars with weird drips of like paint that's like embedded into the the vehicle's chassis. Cause this this is, I mean I mean in the first place. I th we, there, I just I have a lot of problems with the with this texture, okay? In the first place, there is not that much rain coming down. Like you see all you see all these droplets here? That's a lot more droplets. 
than that. Like, it's it's a big difference. And then also, like, it's like changing to green right here. And then for some reason, it's still green down here. It's just, it's... Just, it's I, can't, I can't approve of this. This, this is unacceptable. Does, does the other stuff look like garbage out here as well? The fire at least looks like... <laughs> what is this? It's like red. On the yellow one. Yellow on the... Oh my god. Is, is it trying to like do it? It is. This, this looks okay though. This looks okay. Almost. I won't, I won't get super mad about that, but this, this is egregious. Like, look, it's, it's just melting. It's not raining, it's melting. Okay, there's no rain. It's not water, it's just molten car. And why are the police here anyway? Whatever, whatever, what happened to this place that the police had to be involved? Don't they know that we got the Horzine? Agents here. We, we can we can handle this, okay? Don't worry. You know, maybe the police need to hire us. Is all I'm saying, okay? Or maybe they need to hire a mechanic so that they can make cars out of something other than like sub-zero melting plastic. That's all I'm saying. Okay, just don't make cars that melt when it rains. And then hire horsines, take care of your zombie problem. We're gonna die here, just just a, just a heads up. I don't see a way that we survive. Maybe we survive. Incredible. No, we don't, we don't survive. I thought I had I thought I had more bullets than that. Um, wow, that husk just that husk said "see you later, fool." And uh, the god ray says, "Come back, return to me." Maybe the police needs to help after all. Anyway, uh, two matches with uh, pretty bad deaths, honestly. <laughs> what am I to do there? Go up the stairs? Yeah, maybe, perhaps. I'm telling you, dude, offices, it does, it don't work. Don't work on KF2. It's, it's a cool map, anyway, but it's a hard map. Uh, that's going to do it for today, though, so thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future comments if you have anything to say. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.